historic Lambeau Field fittingly it butts up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay Wisconsin today it's a black and blue matchup in the NFC North between the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers no two NFL teams have played more often than the Bears and Packers and we're underway from Lambeau Dante Pettis now from his end zone and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Chicago offense set to get started. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. Great move by Montgomery. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Fields. Caught here by Griffin. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. the middle it's Montgomery and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run he gets maybe three the last run got three now here's second and seven from the gun here's Fields over the middle he finds Pettis complete and this is going to result in another first down as the tackles made at the Packers 41 yard line it's a gain of 11 yards that time and it produces a new set of downs on first down, Fields. Caught by Montgomery. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Fields on first down. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. To throw his fields. Got an open man. It's Pringle. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 12-yard line. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. Now Fields. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And they'll rally and stop him short of the first down at about the six. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. And a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive. Now, we haven't met a young quarterback, a veteran quarterback. It doesn't matter. We haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities, right? That's true. But when you're young, it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence and allows him to play better as the game goes on. Especially crucial here on the road. The fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Santos' kick is up and through, and it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Love and the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That's the receivers that will spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. And able to find Alan Lazard. And he's got some space here. Touchdown, Packers. Alan Lazard. 50 yards. And the Packers have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Had the option to hand that one off or run it himself, but instead, a really easy quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision and got it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. He's got it. They'll see that opening right field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Pettis now from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Fields now to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. A shotgun snap, Fields. Throw right side, taken in by Pettis. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Fields throwing again. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Back to throw, Fields. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, we're going to sell the go. Just go. Let's see who's faster. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Here's Fields. A throw left side taken in by Komet. Touchdown! Cole Komet, 28 yards, and the Bears have regained the lead. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is now 10-7. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to 
just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Now a first down carry by Jones. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. The tackle made by Nicholas Morrow. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're a back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there. It keeps them advancing the ball. Second down, another shot for Jones. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. 65 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first down. Now Love. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Sammy Watkins, a 9-yard touchdown grab as his guys have now moved out in front. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the throw, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and the field's hit, and the ball is loose. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now it's Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On second down and four, Fields. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. Running left, Montgomery. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. 
So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Here's Fields. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third down and 12. Back to throw. Fields looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Montgomery. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be from 56 yards out. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Well, that's always a risk on those longer kicks. You have to drive it low to get it there. That opened the door for a better chance for the defense to get a hand on it, and that's just what we saw there. And even if the odds increase a little bit because it's a longer field goal attempt, it's still difficult to get hands on the football and create a block. Big time excitement for that unit getting through and knocking that one away. So now a chance for points in the opposite direction after the block field goal. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now the toss to Jones, running right. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 84 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Again, it's Jones. A tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. They're going to run the jet sweep. It's Cobb with it. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. Now Jones. And a second effort gets him in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Packers take the block field goal and convert it into six points. Crosby connects on the extra point, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Now a first down throw, Fields. Forced out to his left, and he'll just get rid of it. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free, and there's another example, another incompletion. On second and 10. Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Out of the gun. Fields. Dancing to his left. Finding space at the 40. Fields hit, and the ball is loose. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Check, check. 
On first down, it's Fields. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Fields going to hurry his guys to the line. From the 50, here's Fields. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Operating from the gun, Fields. The man is Komet, the tight end. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. A first and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Again, Fields. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. So a good kick that time, and that might help to get the negative thoughts out of the mind from that earlier block. Especially since this was not a chippy, so he had to get that one out kind of low. But his line does a nice job of protecting, and he's able to convert for three. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. 35 seconds, all that remains in the first half as they come up on first down. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock, and he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. A gain of three, second down. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Well, no sooner do the teams get to the locker rooms and they're running right back out. Halftime over, third quarter, ready to go. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it. Pass the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. And they've got the lead CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. A nice run there by Jones on first down as he'll wind up getting about five, so second and five coming up. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Watkins on the jet sweep, and he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Try and run for it with Jones. And this will be a Packers first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They'll go again to Jones. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 128 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. They're going to run the jet sweep. It's Cobb with it. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And inside give to Jones. And down to the 36-yard line here. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Jones. 
And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Up the middle, Jones. To about the 26 here. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. The give is to Jones. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. A give to Jones. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gate of three. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. On the delay, Jones. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. So on now for the Packers is their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. The kick by Crosby is good. And the lead now 11, 24-13. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. Throwing again, Fields, Packer pressure, and down he goes. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw, and that is incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short, because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at the 20. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Love going to give this one to Jones. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Jones. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. 
189 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Jones. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down the game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Two yards, good enough for a first. Again, it's Jones. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now Jones. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. The kick by Crosby is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. Onto the field now come the Bears. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. On first and ten, here's Fields. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes the sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Well, we've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away for pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Touchdown, Chicago! Darnell Mooney, 73 yards. And the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Santos with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. And now right out of the two-minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. 
And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he gets it down to the 32. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They'll run it with Jones. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line, and I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And we got a very entertaining game throughout. 